Hello everyone, I am here with a new video. In this video we will make a simple elevator system in Unreal Engine 5. First, let's create a blueprint. Call it BP Elevator. Let's add a static mesh inside. I will use the elevator model I used in my game here. Now let's add the blueprint to the scene and position it. We need to create a box collision in the blueprint for the elevator. The box collision should be under the static mesh. The character should only be able to activate the elevator inside this area. Now let's move to the event graph. Right click on the box collision and select on component, begin overlap. We will also need an on component end overlap node. Here we need to add the enable input node. For the player controller, we will select the get player controller node here. And in the bottom one, we will use the Disable Input node. Now we need to select a button that will operate the elevator. We can use the letter E. Let's call the Set Relative Location node. Here we will only change the z-axis, so we need to split the new location value. The elevator needs to move up and down. In my map, I set the z-value to 1865. When we press the E key, it goes up, but we don't want it to go up all at once. We need a smoother transition. For this, we will use the Add Timeline node. Double-click it, open it, and add a float track. I set the duration to 3 seconds. I add a key at the beginning and end. For the first key, time is 0, value is 0. For the second key, time 3, value 1865. To make the animation a little more realistic, I select Auto here. I connect the alpha value to the new location Z value. I'm going to add a flip-flop here so that the elevator can go down. I'm going to connect B to reverse, so that when I press E again, the elevator will go down. If you're finding value in these tutorials, hit that subscribe button and drop a like if you love the content. You can also ring the bell to stay updated. See you in the restaurant at the end of the universe.